The Chinese researcher has created an international controversy over science and ethics after claiming he helped make the world's first genetically edited babies. According to the Associated Press, the researcher altered embryos for seven couples during fertility treatments. One resulted in the birth of twin girls. The claims have not been independently verified. They also were not published in a medical journal where they could be vetted by experts. Now, this kind of gene edited is editing is banned in the United States. The changes can be passed to future generations and could harm other genes. Our Dr. David Agus is an oncologist and leads the USC Westside Cancer Center and is here to talk more about this. A lot of people in the medical community are buzzing about this. Can you tell us how this doctor was able to do this? I mean, this is wild. This is an enormous step and what the doctor did was he took sperm out of a man and took it out of the semen and put it together with an egg this is in vitro fertilization and then when it made an embryo he put in this thing called CRISPR that's able to surgical precision change one of the three billion letters of the DNA code and he changed the code for the HIV receptor for the AIDS receptor in the cells and then that embryo was put into a woman so is this process able to eliminate HIV because it's being promoted that way? Well, in this study, they, when you edit this receptor, yes, you can eliminate HIV. But in these two twins, only one of them had it fully taken out. The other one had it partially taken out. But at the same time, it raises the risk of death of flu and increases the rate of getting West Nile virus. So it's not a perfect treatment. And the problem is there's a lot of off-target effects. This enzyme is promiscuous. Even though it could change one letter, it happens to maybe change other things in the DNA. So we don't know any of the unintended consequences yet. Obviously, this raises a lot of ethical questions. This is banned, this process, here in the United States. Do you ever see this actually being possible uh, amongst U.S. doctors? Well, to me, this is an experiment on children, right? These were parents. The fathers actually had an HIV themselves, and the mothers did not. And then they consented them. On the consent, it said HIV vaccine. It didn't say gene editing experiment. This is something where we can get rid of inborn errors of genetic disease potentially, but a lot more science needs to be done. It is way too premature to put it in kids because we're not gonna know the answer for 10, 20, 30 years whether it worked. But this is a subject we clearly will be talking about going forward. We've been talking about CRISPR for the past two years. What can you tell us about this doctor? Well, this is a doctor who trained in the United States and then went to Europe. You know, there are CRISPR studies ongoing now in the United States, but we do that in adults to treat a disease. This isn't passed generation to generation. Once you hit what we call the germline, the DNA of a child, it then is passed to the next generation and the next. So these changes are permanent. Huge changes in the world of science. We'll be hearing more from this doctor as he speaks at a conference in Hong Kong. But great to hear you this morning talk about it. Thank you, Dr. A. Thank you.